What's up everybody, how's it going? So on my last video where I covered the recent Google layoffs, somebody posted this comment. Between the hundreds of thousands of layoffs and the convenient launch of AI-related automation, I can't even put into words how I'm feeling about the last two years spent in college learning how to code. The only people I hear telling me not to worry about it are fully employed software engineers. Forgive me, I'm not in the industry, but my worried brain just automatically assumes that the people who say this might have a little bit too much to lose if they are wrong. I just don't even know what to think anymore. So this person is really discouraged about the layoffs, the AI stuff. Watching all this happen around me, I don't know if looking elsewhere would be impulsive or decisive. And then he goes on to give an example where there was this computer science project in one of his classes that the entire class you know, didn't really do well on, that the AI, presumably ChatGPT, was presumably able to solve or to create in just a few minutes you know, super well. So this person is clearly panicked, as are a lot of other software engineers or prospective software engineers right now. I've been hearing this sentiment echo across the industry all over the place over the last few weeks and even a few months. And I want to spend a few minutes in this video to hopefully alleviate this guy's concerns and anybody else who shares this guy's concerns. Now, I understand a lot of you might immediately say, but Clement, you're precisely the kind of person that he's talking about. You know, you're not really, you know, in the software engineering industry these days in the sense that I'm not working as a software engineer and I don't intend to do so anytime soon. And so therefore my opinion might not really be valuable because I can't really relate to this panic. Or some of you might say the complete opposite. You might say, Clement, you have a company, Algo Expert, that relies on software engineering being a popular industry. And so so you have a vested interest in promoting the idea that software engineering is thriving. And you know, to all these people who might say this, I say, yes, that's not entirely false. For example, I do have my company Algo Expert. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for your technical interviews, do check it out. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. But, and here you're going to have to take my word for it, you know, I am sharing my opinion in an unbiased way. Ultimately, this is genuinely what I believe. And what I believe is that this gentleman here and the other people who share his concerns are truly over panicking. This is an unwarranted level of panic. And we can dissect the two things that this gentleman and other people fear one by one and kind of explain why this panic is unwarranted. So the first one is the layoffs. And here it's no secret that the tech industry has been going through a rough time. We have all these layoffs happening, all these big tech companies going through hiring freezes. But the key point to remember here is that this is just cyclical. It so happens that the tech industry recently went through an extremely long overextended cycle of growth, hyper growth, where money was thrown around like it was nothing and a lot of arrogance was built up, a lot of negligence was performed. Software engineers got used to this as the de facto state of being. And now on the backdrop of a terrible economy with you know raging inflation and high interest rates, the tech industry is finally having to tame itself a little bit. And so now we are in this more bearish cycle, in this more negative cycle where things have to slow down. But again, this is just cyclical. Perhaps I am unfazed by this because I have experienced these very dramatic cycles in other markets, most notably the crypto markets where I've experienced euphoric highs and depressing lows multiple times now. And I just know that these are cycles and this too shall pass. It's just a matter of weathering the storm. And so here I'm just pretty unfazed about this sort of tech depression layoff stuff happening. I know that it will eventually get better. Even even within a few quarters. Now, to be clear, I am not trying to tell you nonsense or lie to you or protect you by telling you that you will not experience any difference in the tech industry right now compared to a year ago or two years ago. No, you will experience a difference. Things are going to be harder in the sense that it will be harder to find a job, especially as a new grad or someone with little experience. It'll be harder to find a job in big tech companies because right now a lot of them or all of them are going through hiring freezes. However, 
that doesn't mean that in the future it will not get easier once again. It also doesn't mean that other companies aren't thriving, because like I said in the Google layoff video, there are other companies and industries right now that are thriving and that are hiring tech talent. The financial industry, the travel industry, there are other industries that are doing very well. A lot of tech companies are doing badly, but a lot of companies that need tech are doing very well. So again, I just hope that this kind of alleviates that component of fear for this person and for anybody else. Just remember that this too shall pass. Now let's talk about AI, ChatGPT. Are these technologies gonna replace software engineers? Does this person need to be terrified? And here again, my answer is a resounding no. I made a video recently where I said, is ChatGPT gonna replace programmers? Go check it out if you haven't seen it already. I went through a bunch of different examples of ChatGPT performing programming related tasks. And my conclusion, and I've done more of these analysis off camera since then, my conclusion, which is shared by a lot of other people, is that AI will be a fantastic tool for software engineers, but it will not be a replacement for software engineers, at least not anytime soon. Of course, I cannot speak for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years in the future. Hell, even five years in the future is hard to you know, predict, but I think that for the next few years at least, you genuinely have nothing to worry about, and instead you should view it as this exciting opportunity for you to basically be an empowered software engineer, a more powerful version of your previous job. Perhaps some of your former job duties will get replaced or dramatically changed because of AI, but you will suddenly have new job duties. Maybe this is a bad analogy, but I don't think it's entirely bad. It's like if construction workers, whenever new machinery came out and said, oh my god, we're no longer going to be needed because this machinery can do everything that we can do much better. It's much more powerful, you know, it's much stronger, it can lift stuff and put stuff and move stuff, but it's like, no, you need people to use this machinery, just as you need people to use the machinery that is AI. So genuinely, to the person who wrote this comment and anybody else, I would not treat the advent of AI and ChatGPT as all doom and gloom for software engineers. View it as an exciting thing, try to adapt. Perhaps that might mean going into parts of software engineers where you will be able to leverage these technologies even more, like ML, although to be honest, even that might be wrong because just because ML engineers are going to be developing things like ChatGPT doesn't mean that you can't be extremely empowered by ChatGPT as a completely non-ML engineer. You can be a front-end engineer or an infra-engineer and make use of ChatGPT a lot. You just have to put in the time to adapt to these new times. So all that to say, I really hope you stop panicking to the person who wrote that comment. Do not quit coding unless you genuinely dislike coding or you've genuinely found something that you prefer. But if it's just because of the fear of layoffs and AI, no, do not quit coding. Do not get disheartened. Just double down and weather the storm and you will come out on the other side much stronger and better for it. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, comment down below if you disagree with me or if you agree with me, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.